In this video, I want to show you how to create templates with Evernote. Now, uh, templates aren't native uh, to Evernote, but that doesn't stop us from uh, adding that functionality. And here's how you do it. First of all, you create a notebook called Templates. I draw your attention to mine. I've got it down here in my list. Uh, and I, I've actually left it outside of my, um, my stacks, these little guys identified with the greater than symbol so that I can quickly click on it. I could have made a shortcut to this notebook and added it up here, but I keep this list of shortcuts fairly uh, compact. Um, there's a few reasons for that. One is I'm really used to the shortcuts now. On a Mac, it's Command 1 will take me here. Command 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Command 8 always takes me to the inbox. Um, so I would have been a bit confused if I'd made if I put templates at the top or something, it would have thrown my numbers off. Uh, so I don't. Anyway, bit of an advanced tactic, so don't worry about it if you didn't understand that. You can learn about that in my other courses. So let's get back to the uh, templates feature. First of all, create a notebook called templates. If you haven't created the notebook, start by clicking on notebooks. Click up here where it says new notebook. And give it a name. Choose private. And hit create. Okay? So I'll, I'll just sort of play along. So we're going to call this one Templates 2. Notice it won't let me create that one again because it's already there. Make it private. Create it. There it is, Templates 2. Okay, now I'm going to delete it because I don't need it right now. So that's how you create it and delete it. The next thing you do is you go over and you select your notebook and you create a new note in templates. Now, I've created one in advance just to speed things up a little, and I've called it blog post. Now, this is a very rudimentary note. Um, you can see that if I double click and open it, that's what it looks like. Or if I look at it over here, this is what it looks like. It says title, subtitle, objective. Now, I, I haven't given this a ton of thought. Uh, I've just typed some information in just to give you an idea. If there were other things that I needed, for instance, if this was a template that included, um, a, a, say I wanted it to be a checklist thing to do, I could quite literally create it into another thing and so on. Okay, so that's how you create your note. It's nothing unusual you haven't done before if you've been playing around with Evernote for any amount of time. But this is what gets interesting. So now what we've done is we've created the note inside the templates notebook. Okay, so let's pretend fast forward. Now this would be where harp music and wavy lines would appear normally. Um, so we're a few days into the future and I think to myself, oh no, I need to create a blog post. Shucks, I don't remember how to do it. Not that that's likely to happen. Uh, so I go, I know I need a template. So I click on my templates notebook. I look for my template in question called blog post and I right mouse click. And this is what you'll see, copy to notebook. I'm going to say copy to notebook, and it's going to ask me where to send it. Now, I'm going to have it go to my inbox because that's my everyday default notebook. So I pick that, I hit copy. You'll notice one has appeared over here. If I go to inbox, there it is. So now I could start working some cool title and away we go. Notice now that this has changed from this. See, I copied it in there. It's different. So that is how you create templates. You create a notebook, call it templates. You start creating blank notes, documents, or documents with you know, all the information that you need, and you drop them into the template notebook. And then when you need it in the future, you right mouse click on the template note, and you say copy to notebook and then tell it where you want to send it and then simply jump to the notebook and go edit. I don't know, what should we go for? How about world peace? That's always good. And that, as they say, is how you build template functionality into Evernote. 